Well, more people are getting vaccinated every day, and more people are sending their questions to our Dr. Frank McGeorge through ClickOnDetroit.com. He joins us live to answer a, a new batch. They keep coming into us, starting with what's going on with the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine and all the issues that it's experienced so far. Doc? Yeah, Devin and Kimberly, it does seem like the AstraZeneca vaccine has had a lot of bad press compared to any of the other vaccines. From an early problem with the wrong dose being given to some participants during the clinical trials to more recent questions about a possible link to blood clotting abnormalities, there have been all kinds of issues. And now today's announcement that the 79% efficacy that was reported yesterday may have been based on outdated information. Now, hopefully they're going to be able to clear all that up in a couple of days. But big picture, I think the issues that we've seen with the AstraZeneca vaccine are getting more attention than normal because, frankly, we're in the middle of a pandemic and people are more interested. Ultimately, it's really good that the vaccines are being heavily scrutinized and hopefully that data will find the vaccine safe and effective. Now, here are some more of your questions. A viewer asks, is it possible that the vaccine might help people experiencing COVID long haul symptoms? The answer is maybe. There have been a number of anecdotal and informal reports suggesting the vaccines might improve some long haulers' symptoms. Unfortunately, all of this is really preliminary. We don't have a clear handle on what the actual mechanism is that produces long haul problems with COVID. We also need more careful study of the vaccine in people with long haul symptoms. Now, another viewer wants to know, are the side effects after getting vaccinated like fever or body aches from anything that could be contagious to other people who aren't vaccinated? The answer is no. The side effects are from your body's immune reaction to the vaccine, not to any actual infection. In fact, the vaccine is completely incapable of producing any infection. Now, finally, several people have written us because they have missed their second shot appointment and they're having major problems trying to reschedule it. I strongly encourage you not to miss your second appointment unless it's a true emergency. It can be a really big headache to reschedule, especially if you're not getting your second dose at the same location that you got your first one. Yeah, back to you. Exactly right. Keep the questions coming and we'll keep the answers coming too.